I will show you how to use EasyOCR in Python to do optical character recognition to extract text from images and improve your results with some image processing techniques. If you're new to my channel, I have a website at kevinwoodrobotics.com where I have a bunch of resources on robotics and computer vision. So check it out and subscribe to learn more. So what is OCR? So OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition, and it is a method that you use to extract text from your images, like this example that we're using, where we have a license plate and we're trying to read the license plate number. So in this video, we'll be using some of the license plate data set for some of our testing. Uh, I got the data set from RoboFlow Universe. They have a license plate recognition project here that I checked out. I won't be doing the full license plate detection pipeline here. I'll save that for another video. I'll just be focusing on the detection of the text in this video. So as you can see here, once you go to this page, just go ahead and download the project up here with this button. And then you can select the format that you're using. And then you can see here, these are all of the images. There's a bunch of images you could play around with to see what OCR method works for you. So first up, you want to install Easy OCR. Very simple, just do pip install Easy OCR and you should be ready to go. So for our first test, we're going to be running Easy OCR on the whole image. So this is the image that we will be testing and we're going to try to extract this text from it. And what I did was I purposely made the image quality very bad to really stress test easy OCR in some of the worst conditions. So here you can see this is my program. We're going to have a bunch of different test cases, but we're going to be running that very first basic one here. And you can see the setup is very simple. You just do import easy OCR. You do your reader equals easy OCR dot reader. You select your language and you say result equals reader dot read text and pass in your image path. So here you can see this is the result. It's pretty bad, but we'll see some ways we could tweak it to make it better later on. But you can see right here, detected 65 dot dot, the second one it actually got. So you'll notice that here, some of the lighting is not very consistent between the 65 and V2. So there's gonna be some ways we'll try to play around with it. And I'll show you the results as we go along. So you might be wondering what are some of the different languages that Easy OCR can support. So here it is. This is all of the languages. So depending on which language you want, go ahead and choose the right language for you and then the corresponding code to use inside of your program. So when you see the result output from Easy OCR, you might be wondering exactly what that output is. So here it is. You have results. What you're going to get is a bounding box, a text, and a confidence score. So the bounding box is defined as the XY coordinates starting from the upper left circling around clockwise all the way down to X4 and Y4. And then the text is just going to be a string, which is whatever your output is. And then the confidence is going to be some double between 0 and 1, 1 being the most confident to show you how confident the prediction is. So this is great if you want to do any sort of filtering on bad results. Um, you know exactly where your text is located, so you could do a bunch of things with some of the results from Easy OCR. So a common thing to do in Easy OCR is to, instead of detecting and extracting the text on the whole image, you might want to do it on a region of interest or a zoomed in portion of your image. So. When we actually do that, uh, some of the results actually get a little bit better. You get 65-V, so it picked up the V this time. Uh, the bottom is still 0206. So sometimes, like once, once we have the license plate object detection working, you could do it to extract this location. But right now, what I did was I just manually chose the pixel, saying, like, OK, this is the region of interest I want. Uh, but you can see that sometimes if you just zoom in, it kind of helps the result. But still, it's not quite where we want it. So the first thing we're going to try is doing easy OCR with some thresholding. So here you can see this is our image in grayscale. And the first thing you want to do is to analyze the pixel values at different regions so you know what uh, threshold value to be throwing into your program. So here you can see at the V area, we're getting a pixel of about 46. The intensity is 46. 
here at the six, you see we get about 30 here. And then at the center, we get about 50. So a natural choice for our thresholding value would be something like 50. And you can see that when we do threshold it at 50, we get this output here. You can see right here in the two, it gets a little bit noisy. So there might be some things you could try to do to fix that. But you can see here that it did a little bit better. It thinks the first one is a zero now, so that's a total fail. Uh, it actually picked up the V2, so that's an improvement. Uh, right here, the middle is showing like a star. Uh, the bottom is still doing well. It got 0206. So we're going to see if we can make it a little bit better. So one thing to notice is that there was some noise around the 6 area. So this region here, we're actually getting a value of 46. So maybe it's like, okay, maybe we should try to threshold it a little bit lower so that we don't capture some of this noise here. So what we end up doing is we're going to choose a threshold value of 46. The six part actually does look a lot better. You see a lot of the noise got removed, but you see the V and the two is pretty much totally destroyed. So you can see as predicted, the V2 just disappeared, but at least it got the 65 again. So you can see that there's some trade-off and we'll be doing some further processing to kind of fix some of these issues. So what we're going to try next is to try to include some brightening and clocky to the easy OCR. So here you can see that we ran the code with the brightening and clocky, and you can see that some of our pixel value intensity has actually changed a little bit. So notice that now the V area is 78. So what, what we're trying to do is try to uh, balance some of the lighting in the images by adjusting some of the pixel values. So you can see here that in the center, we're getting now 85. Here at the 6, we're getting like 51. And at the part that we were having a noisy area, we're getting 106. So now what we say is, OK, based on those values, we're going to choose like a threshold of 80. Because if you look back here, uh, everything that's, that we want is under 80. So that's why we're going to choose that value. So if we run this program again and pass this thresholded image into our easy OCR, we're going to see that you know, if we compare the two, you see that there's a huge improvement, right? You see that the, the V2 that was destroyed is now perfectly reconstructed with just some minor noise. So if we actually run this, you see that we get 65 uh, star V2 and then 0, 0206. So besides for this little character, it actually picked up everything. So you see that we made a pretty big improvement from our initial to our final uh, output for easy OCR. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.